Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how I set up the tank for my Alpine Nudes Ichthyosaura Alpestris Alpestris. It's a quite easy tank which is suitable for most aquatic newts, like for example fire-bellied newts and other newts of the genus Cynops, and also for most newts of the genus Triturus. So let's get it started. As always, I begin with the ground substrate. I chose an artificial gravel rounded, around to 2 mm in diameter, mixed with some sand. As you can see, I didn't wash it before putting it in. That's a common mistake. Um, actually, this was used ground, so I thought after I took it out of the old tank, I washed it, but actually I didn't. So yeah, no problem. I will just renew the water later. Nevertheless, you better always wash the gravel before putting it into a new tank to get rid of dirt and all the other unwanted suspended particles. Alright, so now I put in some oak and beech twigs. They were submerged in a tank of water for about two weeks, so they could soak up water, which will now hopefully prevent them from floating. And then I already put in some live plants, starting with some mosses. I also put some mosses here on top of the twigs. This is where a small land area will be established, where the needs can rest over the water surface. What I put in here in the corner of the tank is the filter. It's some kind of small hamburger mat filter. Okay, so as you can see, the tricks weren't soaked enough. They floated again. So I had to use some stones to put them down into the tank, but that's no problem because I can take these stones away later when the tricks are really soaked. Then I added many more live plants. These are some different species including Elodia, Hornwort, Small Java Ferns, Dwarf Hygrophila and also Moss Balls. And some of those plants are really fast growing. So this here is the finished setup. Actually I don't use a lid for this tank, but I just put some tape on all four sides of the tank. You can see this also in some of my other videos, for example in the video where I set up a tank for terrestrial juvenile newts. Here you can see the small land area where the newts can rest if they wish so. And I will also probably add a piece of cork bark later. Although they usually stay in water all the time, it's still quite important to give your newts the possibility to go on land because sometimes they just need to rest over the water surface especially when something is wrong with the water but it can also occur naturally as in nature most newts also have a terrestrial phase usually in winter all right now that everything is finished the newts can move in I will keep a small group of three newts in this 60 liter tank. I could add another one or two, but for more I'd need to upgrade to a bigger aquarium. That's it for now, so thanks for watching and see you next time.